as, as you start to do like work about it or a play about it, people ask you to analyze it. Uh -huh. And we've realized that the, um, the things that we think are really funny are the things that are sort of like a sham. And everything <laughs> on TV is a sham, but you know, the Brady Bunch is more of a sham than most things. In what way? Well, you know, because it's perfect. It's like, you know, it's like watching a beauty pageant or like watching a paid half hour TV commercial. You're watching it and you're thinking, what is, it? What is going on here? You know, how can this possibly be being sold to the minds of the American people as being life? <laughs> yeah, uh, just hold on a second, Martha, and I'll ask him. Martha wants to know if the dunking machine is ready yet. The dunking machine is ready, Martha. Did you hear that, Martha? Yeah, it's ready. Uh, oh, that's very funny, Martha. Oh, you are a devil. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, Martha. Honey, could you come here? Oh, Martha, I've got to go. Yeah, Mike just called me. I think something's burning. The way like the audience to... reacts when the important moral is, is stated. I think you, you learned an important lesson, honey. Yeah. Everybody goes, oh, like a common vomiting <laughs> yeah. happens. Yeah. So that, t you know, Obviously, right. people and that's feel what, the and same what, way today. Yeah, it just sort of makes do. it more clear than it already is. I mean, you can watch the Brady Bunch show and know that it's silly and that the morals are trite. And somehow seeing it as a live play makes that even more so. Yeah, more silly.